How much money can you make with an In-N-Out Burger? Let's go through the numbers. Well, first of all, In-N-Out Burger actually isn't a franchise. It's actually family owned and operated. With 370 locations across California and the Southwest, the regional brand is consistently rated as one of the top fast food franchises across the country. But however, the current CEO, Lindsay Snyder, who's the only grandchild of the founders, Harry and Esther Snyder, who founded the company in 1948, has decided to keep the company private and not franchise. But In-N-Out Burger actually does not disclose any of his financial information. So we're gonna run through some rough estimates on what they make per year divided by the 370 locations to come up with the math. But what do they look for in actually opening up a successful store? The requirements are as follow. They need at least 50,000 drive-by traffic. Population size needs to be a medium of 60,000 people. The medium household income needs to be $45,000. The lot size needs to be 45,000 square feet. Each store location needs to be roughly 3,800 square feet. They need to have 75 seats inside and 20 outside. Their drive-through needs to have at least 12 plus cars that can fit. They either need to own the real estate or lease with the option to buy to own the real estate following the McDonald's model. We're a holding company buys all the real estate and In-N-Out Burger is then leasing to themselves through a different holding company. How much does an individual In-N-Out Burger store actually make? In-N-Out's profit margins are measured by earnings before interest, tax depreciation. In-N-Out as a company makes about $1.6 million a day, which has them earning somewhere between $48 million roughly a month. That's $576 million a year and divided over their 370 stores, each store is averaging making somewhere between $1,556,000 per year. If In-N-Out Burger ever decided to franchise, would you buy one?